Welcome everyone to this lesson on the declension of all stem nouns as well as demonstrative and relative pronouns in Gothic. All all stem noun substantive in Gothic have feminine gender. The case forms are as follows. Singular nominative wamba, belly. Genitive wambos, of a belly. Dative wambe, to a belly. Accusative wamba, a belly. Plural nominative wambos, bellies. Genitive wambo, of bellies. Dative wambom, to bellies. Accusative wambos, bellies. A significant subset of this class is that of the your stem nouns. Your stem nouns with two syllables, the first of which contains a short vowel preceding a single consonant, follow the exact same declension pattern as the pure all stem nouns. For example, banya, wound, with the forms banyos, banye, banya, etc. Your stem noun substantive of more than two syllables, as well as those with the first syllable containing a long vowel, or a short vowel followed by more than one consonant, lose the final a in the nominative singular, the preceding y becoming vocalic e. All the other forms follow the pattern of the short your stems. For example, bandi, shekel, with bandios, bandye, bandya, etc. In your stem noun substantive of two syllables, with the first syllable ending in an original falling diphthong, in the nominative singular, the second element of said diphthong becomes the consonantic onset of the second syllable. There are only two Gothic nouns attested behaving in this manner. Mawi, girl, with the forms moyos, moye, etc., and thiwi, housemaid, with thiuyos, thiuye, etc. The nominative forms of all stem nouns, both singular and plural, can also be used in vocative function, that is, to directly address the person or thing denoted by the noun. Some further all stem noun substantive are giba, gift, bandwa, sign, sulia, soul, vrakia, prosecution, fiathwa, enmity, sonia, truth. Bida, request. Friathwa, love. Winya, pasture. Grova, pit. Nidwa, rust. Wipia, wreath. Milditha, mercy. Salithwos, guest rooms, inn. Wulla, wool. Werthida, worthiness, ability. Trigua, Covenant, Lordi, Shape, Sewala, Soul, Uvizwa, Hall, Frestuvni, Temptation, Hlewasnos, Graves, Cemetery, Wulwa, Robbery, Wunduvni, Scourge, Achwa, River, Brakya, Wrestling, Quoftuli, Glory, Ertha, soil. Halya, hell. Wasti, garment. Hansa, gang. Ludia, face. Echwatundi, briar. Huila, hour. Plapia, street. Theodangardi, kingdom. Stivna, voice. Sivia, kindred. Hethi, field. Theoda, People, Scalia, Tile, Keti, Command. Now let us look at our first example sentence. Achwosus wambe is rinand watins livandins. Achwos is nominative plural, streams, translating Greek potami. Watins livandins is genitive singular of living water, corresponding to Greek udatos sontos. Rinnand is third-person plural present, they run, here standing in for the Greek future form reusousin, they shall run. Uswambe is a prepositional phrase translating Greek ekteskulias, meaning out of the womb. Is, like Greek autou, is the genitive singular masculine form of the third-person pronoun, meaning his. Streams of living water shall run from his womb. 
The strong feminine declension of most nouns ejective partially follows the all stem paradigm too. The genitive singular and plural, however, as well as the dative plural, have been remodeled after the pronominal declension, at which we shall look later in this lesson. Examples Singular nominative ubila, evil, diupa, deep, genitive ubilesos, diupesos, dative ubile, diupe, accusative ubila, diupa, plural nominative ubilos, diupos, genitive ubileso, diupeso, dative ubilem, diupem, accusative ubilos, diupos. In one Gothic text fragment, known as the Skirins, the three feminine dative plural forms of nouns adjective attested therein have the or stem ending otherwise found only in substantive declension. For example, Judeviskom, Jewish. The stem adjectives of two syllables, the first of which ends in a diphthong, differ from the corresponding stem substantives in that they do not lose final R in the nominative singular and thus follow the same pattern as those two syllable stem adjectives with the first syllable containing a short vowel preceding a single consonant. For example, nyuja, new, with the forms nyujesos, nyuje, nyuja, etc., just as media, mid, with mediesos, midie, media, etc. Those eostem adjectives with a long vowel in the first syllable or a short vowel preceding more than one consonant, and those with more than two syllables, like the corresponding noun substantive, do lose their final i in the nominative singular. For example, worthy, pleasant, with worthiesos, worthie, worthia, etc. Anabus in new iswis. The direct object in this sentence is provided by the accusative singular forms anavusen, translating Greek entolein, commandment, and nyuja, translating Greek genein, new. Giva is a first person singular present indicative verb form, meaning I give, translating Greek didomi. The indirect object is provided by the second person plural pronoun in the dative case form iswis, you or to you. Translating Greek, you mean. A new commandment I give you. Now let us look at the declension of the basic demonstrative pronoun. Singular nominative masculine, sa, neuter, thata, feminine, so, this. Genitive masculine and neuter, this, feminine, thesos, of this. Dative masculine and neuter, thamma, feminine, thise, to this. Accusative masculine thana, neuter thata, feminine tho, this. Plural nominative masculine the, neuter tho, feminine thos, these. Genitive masculine and neuter these, feminine thiso, of these. Dative masculine neuter and feminine them, to these. Accusative masculine thans, neuter tho, feminine thos, these. The relict form of the instrumental neuter singular the, by this, through this, is attested once on its own and several times in the combinations bithe, later, as, yathe, and if, duthe, therefore. The peculiar alternation between the nominative singular masculine and feminine forms with initial s and all the other forms with a different dental consonant is an inherited trait common to Indo-European languages such as Sanskrit, spoken in ancient India, with nominative singular masculine sa, feminine sa, against neuter dat, etc., and Greek nominative singular masculine ho, feminine ha or he, here with the sibilant change to the aspirate h, versus neuter to, etc. Is sacharts fulswarth dones thesos salvones. Is, like Greek de, is a conjunction, the meaning of which ranges from but, however, to and, thus, so. Sagarats translates Greek eukia, the house. The masculine demonstrative pronoun in its nominative singular form sa is here used like the definite article in Greek and English. 
Full swarth means it became full, it was filled. Translating Greek aorist passive eplerothe. Genitive singular dones translates the Greek prepositional phrase ekthesos mes, meaning with the scent. Depending from this, there is a second genitive singular, thesos salvones, translating Greek tumuru, meaning of this ointment. So the house was filled with the scent of this ointment. The demonstrative pronoun sa, tata, so, can be further emphasized by adding the enclitic particle uch, that is shortened to h after long vowel, whereas a short preceding vowel is elided, resulting in the forms sach, thatuch, soch, thisuch, etc. The corresponding relative pronoun is formed by adding enclitic e, yielding sai, thati, soi, thisi, etc. The neuter nominative and accusative singular have an alternative form thi. Thi, the, or thati can also serve as conjunctions introducing a final clause. The masculine nominative form, both singular and plural, of the relative pronoun is often substituted by easy or easy, the feminine singular by si. The demonstrative pronoun yens, meaning yon, that, follows the pattern of the strong adjective declension except that there are no short forms in the neuter nominative and accusative singular. Singular nominative masculine jens, neuter jenata, feminine jena. Genitive masculine and neuter jenis, feminine jenesos. Dative masculine and neuter jenamma, feminine jene. Accusative masculine jenana, neuter jenata, feminine jena. Plural nominative masculine jene, neuter jena, Feminine jenos. Genitive masculine and neuter jenese, feminine jeneso. Dative masculine, neuter and feminine jenem. Accusative masculine jenans, neuter jena, feminine jenos. Another demonstrative pronoun with the stem hi, this, is only found in a few forms used in temporal expressions. Dative masculine and neuter singular himma, as in himma dara, today. Accusative masculine singular hina, neuter singular hita, as in und hita, until now. The demonstrative pronouns sama, same, and silva, self, follow the weak adjective declension pattern. Singular nominative masculine sama, neuter and feminine samo. Genitive masculine and neuter supposedly samins, feminine supposedly samons. Dative masculine and neuter samin, feminine samon. Accusative masculine saman, neuter samo, feminine samon. Plural nominative masculine supposedly samans, neuter samona, feminine supposedly samons. Genitive masculine and neuter samane, feminine samono. Dative masculine and neuter samam, feminine supposedly samom. Accusative masculine supposedly samans, neuter samona, feminine supposedly samons. Sama is often accompanied by forms of the demonstrative sa, for example, sa sama, tata samo, tho samon, etc. Yach hel noda sa thiumarosi sin jene huile. Yach, Greek ge, means and. Gahel noda is a third-person past form, meaning he got well, he was healed, translating Greek aorist passive yathi. Sathiumaros translates Greek opes, meaning the boy, servant, or barman. Is is the genitive singular masculine of the third-person pronoun, translating Greek autou, his. In yene huile is a prepositional phrase corresponding to Greek en teora ekine meaning in that hour, and his barman was healed in that hour. This is all for now. Thank you very much for listening and have a nice day.